raised down to Louisiana, down on the black bayou, where we black our swamps and alligators, love our crawfish too. Got that feeling on board, running through our veins. It's our feet dancing when we hear that fiddle play. We love to hear that Cajun music down at the Sando Door, dancing with our feet on, and just letting the good times roll. We know it's God first, and then our family and friends. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just a Louisiana thing. Hey guys, Ken here. Thanks for joining us. Got something a little different today. Me and Braun went to pick up a couple sacks of oysters. You can see I got him busy over here. He's shucking some in the back. Uh, look, guys, I want to start off by saying I appreciate all the people following me. Uh, my subscribers went all the way up to 23,000. Real stoked about that. Thank you, guys. Uh, have some fishing coming. Me and Brian's going to be doing a lot of fishing this summer. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some good stuff for you. Uh, today, we're going to be doing oysters. I'm going to uh, char brawl some. Maybe do some Rockefeller, just butter and garlic some. We'll eat a few raw. We also gonna ball some crawfish, so y'all hang around for that. But y'all stay tuned. I'm gonna stick it right here on this hinge. Pop your wrist. There you go. Let's try this one out. Mm. Ooh, they salty. Good quality oysters here. All right, I'm gonna throw a little cocktail sauce together. Real easy to make for the raw oysters. Uh, I'm gonna just put some ketchup. Put some horseradish. We'll put a little bit of whiskey sour sauce in there. A little bit of Louisiana hot sauce, Tabasco sauce, either one's really good. A little bit of local product, new news. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning in here. Let's try that out on one of these juicy ones right here, bro. Man, that's good, bro. Oh, I think I'm gonna have one more of those. Good Louisiana raw oysters. This is the tool I use to light the charcoal. Works real good. You don't have to use lighter fluid. All right, the first sauce we're gonna to throw together just be a garlic butter. We'll start with a stick of butter. Put some garlic, just minced garlic is good. We'll use a little bit of Cajun seasoning. This is some new news right here. Also, we like a little jalapenos. We're gonna put a little bit of jalapenos on here. You can 
we'll put that on the charbroiled oysters. We're gonna start on the second sauce. This is the Rockefeller. We're gonna put one stick of butter in the pan here. One large onion. We're gonna go ahead and saute this down. All right, so we have the butter, onions going. Uh, we have some baby spinach cut up. That was one little pack. Uh, we have probably a cup and a half of milk we'll use. Parmesan cheese. Uh, I'm going to use a little New News Cajun seasoning. And three or four pinches of some crab ball, Louisiana crab ball. Alright, we'll get this butter and onion sauteed down. Alright, we got the onion sauteed pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and add the spinach. I did chop it up a little bit. I'm gonna smother it down. It looks like a lot at first. So I'm gonna add some milk to this mixture here. We're going to go ahead and put some seasoning. All right, we've got a little bit of new news in there. We're going to put a few pinches of this crab ball. There we go. Couple big handfuls of cheese. Ready to put it on the oysters. We're gonna load the pit up, start putting it on. Good now. This is how Brian likes his. Uh, we put some jalapenos in there. Good. <laughs> You're gonna make me want to try one of these too. We got so many oysters. We bought two sacks. I think we bought two sacks and one pretty big sack. <laughs> it has the uh, jalapeno flavor. Get you another one. Well, they are pretty. Hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Way to go, huh? Awesome. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that is good. I gotta get the juice out, Brian. I should have ate it off the shell. It's a little warm. Dang. Yeah, it might be a little hot to eat it off the... Nothing like fresh oysters. Cool, that's good. Man, that jalapeno and butter and the garlic together. Dude, that's killer.
I don't know which one I prefer. Are they both good? Can you just have one? Cool. All right, let me get another one. more often. Right. That's your garlic butter one. Yeah. Still good? <laughs> I can see the smoke coming out your mouth. Of course, I got it coming out of my mouth and I'm not even eating it and our breath is... Very good. Try that one, Brian, right there. The one that was, looked a little burnt that I just ate was so crunchy and it had a little bit different flavor because the cheese was kind of crunchy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, they hot guys. They just come off the bin. We having a feast. We got our little LSU fire going over here. Penny bought this at, I don't know, Home Depot or something. It burns pretty good. We like Louisiana crab ball. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna put some in the water. We're not gonna put a whole bunch. I like to add some after they cooked. All right, just enough for the seasoning. Got some potatoes, some little sausage, and some onions. All right, All right we're gonna put the corn in. It's been boiling a little while. Big size, but you can tell that's some tender crawfish. We'll rinse until the water gets clear. My boy Brian's gonna fix this up with that. All right, we're gonna take the vegetables out. It came up to a ball we left them in there about four minutes uh, what i like to do is add some cold water if you have the capacity this is a pretty big ball and we only put one sack you can usually do two sacks uh, we're going to add some tap water cold water it's going to make them real juicy let's do that a little bit of cold water to them. sit another five or six minutes with the cold water it's sucking up they'll be super juicy we'll put them in the ice chest we'll add a little bit more seasoning to it we're gonna put some cut up fresh lemons let them sit a little bit long and we'll start eating all right we're ready to take them out i'm gonna hold the ice chest brian you want to go ahead and dump them in Fresh squeeze. 
these lemons in here. Get out. Right, a sample one. That's good. I can't eat this one. They peel perfect. They super juicy. I might even add a little bit more seasoning. But when you can catch it with your teeth and pull it out, you know it's perfect. I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning. Let's go wrap it up guys i appreciate y'all guys watching uh, i know i said i was gonna do a crab stew we'll do that coming up here pretty soon i hope y'all enjoyed it She got caught in the pandemic. As girls prepared to flee, it's a storm he wouldn't separate. That is it.